Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup look for a show that we have today. Today is a bridal show, so I want to do a look, but I don't want to do anything too crazy because it's somebody else's day. So um, I'm going to go through my normal routine, starting with my Lou Hydrating Serum. And I think for this look, I'm going to use the Morphe Hotspot palette um, using the blue shades. So there's some really pretty colors in there that I'm excited to do a look using them. So next I'm going to use this 111 Skin Rose Gold Radiance Booster. And then my I Do Care Straight Radiate. Ah. Radiance Moisturizing Gold Gel Cream. There's a lot on the lid. <laughs> So there we go. And then just blend this all together. My hair is growing out and I'm not sure what to do with it. So it's like sort of doing its own thing as I put gold gel cream in my hair <laughs> um yeah it's it's kind of a mess but i'm excited for it to get longer so next thing i'm going to do is use this unicorn grow grow unicorn glow <laughs> hydrating primer if there's any left there better be some left i haven't bought any yet there we go. And I love how this stuff makes my face feel. It feels like satin. There we go. Okay, so that is all done. The next step is gonna be my concealer and setting powders. So for my concealer, I use, whoa, almost closed the drawer on a cord. I use my Rimmel London Stay Matte Concealer and this is in the shade Porcelain. Now my hands are all greasy, so it's hard to open. Not greasy, but moisturized. So, I just put this under my eyes and I follow my brow shape. I don't really need a whole lot. It's so funny because this brow has like a perfect uh, sort of just arch to it or curve to it, I should say. And this brow has like the, you know, like cocked eyebrow, like, excuse me? <laughs> so there's that, okay. Now, um, this is my wet sponge. Let me grab my spray bottle. I have two different sponges, one I use for the concealer, and if I use foundation, I use it for that as well, and I spray it. The other one is a dry one. So I just go in, after spraying the sponge lightly, it's a little damp, and I just dab all around where I put the concealer to blend it. And the corners of my eyes especially tend to get like weird creases in them. So I usually have to um, do them uh, quite 
vigorously when I'm doing this. I sort of stab myself in the eye with the corner, get it to blend. Okay, I have something on this eyelash. That's super cute. Not. Okay. So it's just a light coverage. I found that using the spray bottle actually helps like diffuse it so it doesn't look so thick and heavy. And of course that's probably because I'm just like removing a bunch of it, but it works, okay. Now we use this uh, setting powder. This is my Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder and I use a dry sponge and I just do the same thing that I just did. Just dab around where all the concealer is. There we go. Now I take a fluffy brush from Wish. Whoop. And I take a little bit of the powder in the lid. And just go over all of this and my whole face. Just to give it a sort of matte look. There we go. Then I check my corners because my corners usually like to accumulate the powder. So there we go. I'm gonna put this back in here. So it's out of the way. Okay, next is my Lovecraft bronzer palette. And I use the shade Aditya, or however you say this. And I just take this <laughs> brush that's covered in my cat's hair. Uh, this is the Ferro Ferro Thera Cheeky End 218 brush, and I just dip it in here ever so slightly, and just give a light brushing. And I kind of change how I do my bronzer, like every couple of times that I do my makeup because I like experimenting. I wanna see what looks best. You know, before I used to use that wish brush and I would do like real harsh lines and I mean, that's fine and all, but I feel like I can use less product with this method and get the same result because with the other one, I'm like blending, blending, blending. I feel like I'm always blending. With this one, I'm, you know, just sort of doing that already, just in the way that I apply the bronzer. Sorry, it looked like my camera wasn't recording. And those of you who have seen my channel know that happens. So, There we go. That's all I'm gonna do. I don't wanna do anything too crazy. I don't need to be looking like Instagram people. <clears throat> I almost said something not nice about myself and then I stopped because you shouldn't talk bad about yourself. I'm beautiful. End of story. <laughs> oh no. I just realized. I love this stuff and it's really good. But it makes me burp so much. So maybe I don't drink it while I'm doing video. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> if it does, I'll edit it out so you'll never know. <laughs> 
All right, next is this Ulta Beauty Flushed Blush uh, Natural Finish Blush in Flamingo. And I just take this uh, chic blush brush that I got from Ipsy. And I just sweep it across my cheeks. There we go. Now for highlighter. This is the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighting Palette in Golden Sands. And I'm going into Seychellis. First, I'm gonna sweep across the outside because this powder's getting everywhere. And I'm just going to put this on the tops of my cheeks <coughs> in a little form of a C. Going around my eyeball. Okay, okay, good, yes, good. Oh, speaking of accents, which, sorry, they just happened. Um, <laughs> I'm learning Russian. <laughs> and I'm super excited about it. So I use like all different programs. You can find programs on your phone, like Duolingo. Um, that's the only one I know the name. Oh, Babbel. Um, but there's a lot of different ones. Um, so I'm just starting with the basics and I'm excited. I can recognize letters. Yeah. Like a C is S. Which makes no sense. But like it looks like an English C. But it actually is pronounced as S. And the little circle with the line in it is actually S. Or F. Maybe I'm getting that wrong. But anyways, I'm learning. <laughs> so, I'm kind of annoyed at how my hair keeps falling down. Stop it. Stop it, hair. It's like this side wants to go whoop, and this side wants to come the other way. What's up with that? When God was handing out cowlicks, he was like, give her lots of random ones. Anywho, he knows what he's doing. So maybe this is fashionable and I just don't know it. All right, so <laughs> this is uh, my Wet n Wild Au Natural palette. Um, it is old as dirt. It's definitely expired, but we won't tell anyone. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but um, this is 75 for a nude awakening is what it says up here. So I guess that's the palette name, um, but I used shades seven and eight to do this look. So I don't think I ever realized that there was a name there. Sorry, guys. Um just doing my brows now. So I take this brow brush that I got from Ipsy. This is a Farrah brow brush. And I just tap in here, um, tap in here. Sorry, I was listening to the keyboard um, tapping. But um, I just like sweep across here and fill in my brows lightly. Like so. And follow their natural shape. So like this one, you know, it does the like, you talking to me? <laughs> um, and the other one just goes like, ah. <laughs> but whatever, that's what my eyebrows want to do. And then this one here, like, it's so weird. I never know whether I should fill it in or leave it alone, but it has like these straggly hairs right here. And I feel like it lines up with this side. So I don't want to like cut it. And then like one eyebrow is really short and the other one's really long. Like, I mean, really, who knows? So sometimes I just sort of 
fill it in right here. And then afterwards I'm like, oh, why'd I do that? Hopefully this isn't one of those instances. I mean, it looks fine. When I crinkle my eyebrows, like this is all part of the eyebrow here and, and this is fine. They're just eyebrows, who cares? Okay, I know, like half of you are like, <gasps> what? Eyebrows are everything. Everything is everything. Everything cannot be everything, just saying. Learn some different words, people. That is, high vocabulary is everything. <laughs> okay, moving on. I just like to troll people. You be you, if that's your favorite word, use it, whatever. Don't let nobody tell you what you should or shouldn't do. Okay, so now that we have the face all ready to go, we are going to apply the best shade. That is on my eyeballs, and it will be from the Morphe X and Jeffree Star Artist Strip Palette, the shade Lean. Oh, what if I really talk like that? You know what accent I would love to have? Scottish. I feel like Scottish accents are just really pretty. And they have such an interesting sound. I was actually trying to find a Scottish ASMR yesterday, or the day before, or whatever, this week. And what makes me really sad is there are so many ASMR channels that are essentially softcore porn. Let's be real. Like, do you have to have your boobs out and like, uh, in your pose? Like, seriously, go somewhere else, okay? Like, it's so frustrating that I'm trying to find, like, good quality channels, like Latte. Latte's ASMR channel, if you haven't seen her, she's amazing. She does cinematography and all kinds of sound effects. She's, like, a Foley artist. She's awesome. Um, I can't really offhand think... Uh, Goodnight Moon is a good example of another one. She, like, develops these stories and characters, and it's so awesome. And I so appreciate people who do things like that, but... I was trying to find one and I found this lady and I won't name her one because I don't actually know her name, but also because it's just not necessary. Um, but she was doing these really cool character developments, but everything that she did had this like sexual undertone to it. And it was really frustrating because I was like, I don't want that. I just want like some cool, like role play ASMR, like in the fantasy range, or like, you know, uh, knights and dragons and rangers and, you know, like D&D &D type stuff. All I can find is like chicks with their boobs pushed up and they're like in your face and they're like sucking on things or like just being very, very inappropriate. And oh my God, if you guys have any recommendations for a really good ASMR person who like, I really like when they do um, super in-depth things like Latte and Goodnight Moon. Um, and even this lady that I have found, like she had great accents. She did like a Scottish accent, sounded perfect, but everything was like sexually charged. And I was like, this feels awkward. You know, I don't want to feel like you're going to try and do stuff while I'm sleeping. You know, <laughs> like, um, but all that said, there was one lady that I found who was doing a Scottish ASMR and her name had something to do with like Scottish. I won't, you know, divulge who it is because that's just not cool. But um, I feel like she had a fake Scottish accent and I wanted to say something. And I look through the comments because, you know, I always like think something. I'm, I wonder if somebody else thought this or said it in the comments. Nobody said anything. And they were all like, oh, I love your accent. Oh, it's so great. Oh, it helps me sleep, blah, blah. And I'm like, that is so fake. That is the fakest accent I've ever heard. But I digress. What I will say is that I have done my British accent before when I talk like this. And I've been a server before and I, I like go into a restaurant and you know here's your food and what what would you like and how can I help you and all that stuff and I speak just like this 
And for whatever reason, when I talk like this and I speak to Americans, everyone thinks that I'm Irish. And that's not Irish, that's British. But anyways, so, you know, maybe I was doing a little bit Irish there, I don't know. The point is that the majority of people who hear an accent probably don't have any idea where it's from. So maybe that's why, but uh, it just really was like grating on me and, and I wanted to like it because I really wanted to hear like a Scottish ASMR, but I couldn't do it because it was like, ugh. Every time I heard like a word sound really bad, it was like, I try to like imitate it. I can't, I can't do it. I can't even get my brain to go there. <laughs> but anyways, you're here for makeup, not talk about accents. And dialects and okay so the <laughs> the morphe hotspot palette i will show you it looks like this this is the 35h hotspot palette i'm thinking about using like these colors here you know in this range and by the way i know i just like totally went off on how like somebody's accent was horrible i don't think any of my accents are like totally on par and i definitely don't have a channel that says like british asmr because i know i have work to do so that was my point not so much that she wasn't good at an accent because i'm not good at most of my accents either um i just wanted to put that in there anyways so, hmm, 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 what to do? Let's think about it. Put our thinking hats on. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go for it. Just going to make something up. You know, that's what I always do anyways. Okay, <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna go into ripple effect. Interesting, okay, yeah, that worked. All right, so ripple effect. You can always try your shades on your arm before you apply them if you're not sure what they're going to look like. Just saying. So ripple effect is this really shiny sort of uh, sheer goldy champagne type color and it's soups pretty you guys know me i will get a little bit um you know i don't know what i'm doing just yet so i will start with some basic things just lay them down just to sort of start building a color story and then i go for it so we've got that that was way <sighs> more sheer than I thought it was gonna be. And there's a lot of fallout with that, I'll be honest. Ina who's? So I got that now. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with Alone Time, which is like a brownish shimmery shade. And I'm gonna put it in the crease, cause why not? We can do whatever we want. Um, all right. In the grays, in the grays. This will be back in far, like so. Okay, are you ready for some color? <laughs> I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go into Ocean Drive. Wow! Okay, mm. bit of fallout. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the outer corner of my lower lid. Such a pretty color. Love it. Okay. Same on the other side. Now we just have to figure out what we're doing. Cause I still don't know. How about I bring it up into here, kind of drag it into the crease. Like so. I feel like this goes above the crease. This goes sort of like on my lid. Why are my eyes so different? Um, I'm gonna take a Q-tip and go back in 
to ripple effect and sort of try to clean up what I just covered up there with Ocean Drive. And then we'll just sort of blend this nicely. Okay, now I want to go into something a little bit more bam. So I'm going to take this pencil brush because it gives me more control. I'm learning things. I'm going to go into Singled Out. Singled Out is this like blue, blue shade. Bless you. And I put it in the corners here. And I'm going to bring it up here for whatever weird reason. I just felt the urge to do that. I hope I don't regret. There we go. Hmm. Sarait, sarait. So basically what I did was put it on the outer fourth of my lower lid and brought it like a fine line up into the crease, almost to the very inner part of the crease. So you can still see Ocean Drive but it's sort of like fading into this pretty, you know, dark blue shade. Do, do, do. And we're just building the color up. Um, there is so much fallout on my cheek right now. I can see it with this light. This is like a soft, house light this is a very bright um ring light so um i'm gonna be going back and forth and just building these colors up i'm gonna take ocean drive on this farah 10f concealer brush and just put it back because it sort of you know disappearing and I feel like I'm working with chalks, to be honest. Sorry, Morphe, but this formula is beautiful colors, just a lot of fallout. I'm like barely touching the pan and it's just like poof. So, and if I brush this away, you know what I'm gonna do? I've had success with using water, so I'm going to use water. Um, where's my little thing? Use this little tray for my water. And we'll see how well that works. So just get the brush wet and then I dip into the palette. And it should make like eyeshadow paint. And then it should also dry um, lighter and in the powder. So there's a really dark line, a really defined line here, but we can work that out later. Now I'm gonna take this pencil brush and go back into Singled Out and see if I can get the corner to be darker because I want this to be you know, be really dark blue. Don't necessarily want all of it to be that crazy dark, but definitely the outer corner needs to be the darkest point. And then it sort of should do a gradient or, you know, blend into the rest of the shades nicely. Now, <laughs> I don't have a tissue to dry this off. So I'm just gonna use the end of this Q-tip. And then I'm gonna start trying to blend this in here. Blend them together. Ocean Drive is still a little wet, so it should, you know, blend nicely into that 
singled out. And I'm gonna put sort of a point on this. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that works. Kind of like the roundness, but I also like the wing, so we'll just go with the wing. Okay, and you know, with having two different types of lights, it is kind of hard to tell um, the comparison. So you might sometimes see me doing this. I'm just trying to block the other light so I can see with just one type of light. And honestly, like this kind of look can probably be better achieved doing um, a cut crease of some sort, but I don't really feel like doing that. So <laughs> just doing what I'm doing now. Okay, so now to blend this with, you know, the inner corner, I'm gonna take actually this Q-tip and just try to softly blend this edge here that looks super harsh. And it seems to be doing a good job. I'm also blending singled out that's up in the crease into all of this so it sort of flows better and doesn't just look like I've placed color randomly on my eyeball. Now I'm taking that wet brush and just dabbing. It's still got some of the Ocean Drive color in it and I'm just sort of dabbing it in to blend it better, if that makes sense. Going over top of the shades that I wanna mix it into trying to create a nice gradient, a nice blend, if you will, since this is makeup and not art. Well, it's art, but no, whatever. Okay, so then, fan brush, weigh the fallout. Now, I wanna, I'm gonna clean this brush off because I'm going to try to make a really nice, um, not necessarily line, but like kind of a division up top here with just using a wet brush with shadow instead of concealer. I don't like putting concealer on top of my concealer once I've already set it because I have a really hard time with it not moving around. Now, Maybe that's just the brand that I use, the Rimmel London Concealer. Um, but the I did use the Tarte Face Tape um, uh, foundation and then tried to put concealer over top of it and it also moved. So again, it was the same Rimmel London Concealer. So maybe it just, um, maybe it's the problem but I just haven't had a lot of success with that, so I don't really wanna try and mess it up. I'm gonna take this wet uh, concealer brush again and go into ripple effect and just make it more prominent in the inner corner. I'm gonna try not to get it all muddled with the other shades. It's kind of hard to do when you're dealing with a really light color and you're blending it into other darker, more dominant shades. So you can just clean your brush a lot while you're doing it and just take extra steps. But I'm 
It's easier to take it slow and not ruin your shade initially than it is to get all of that green in there and then try to get it out. So I think that that looks really cute. Um, now I'm gonna go, let me just check this. I'm actually gonna use the shade Siesta, which is in Hotspot. I was gonna go back to Lynn, but um, I wanna try to use Siesta. Let me just see what it looks like on my hand. I actually don't wanna do that. It's a shimmer shade and I have a lot of shimmers on my face. Lynn is a matte shade. That's from the Jeffree Star, uh, Morphe X Jeffree Star Artistry Palette. So I'm gonna use the same concealer brush. It's still damp and I'm gonna do like a wannabe cut crease, I guess. Um, and I I use that term to define anything that's like cutting your shadows, you know, like making really defined lines in shadows that are already on your face. So obviously I could be using the wrong term, but that's what I have associated it with. So that's why I'm saying that. If I'm incorrect in my terminology, please let me know. And I think, I think that because that was wet and I pressed so hard, it has disrupted the concealer below. Is what it appears in this corner. I could be wrong, but I'm kind of afraid of that. I will just try not to press so hard on this next swipe through. Now when I do this, I know my skin isn't like perfectly taut, so I am, when I'm pulling it, I just keep pulling it in the same line and it will make a straight line. Even though on the ends here it looks like it's wrinkling up, it's fine. As long as you stay in the same line that you started with, you should be good. And I got some of this in my brow, so let me see if I can just brush it out or if I need to add some more um, shade to that brow. I think it's good. I wish I knew what um, theme or colors this girl's um, wedding was because I would definitely do my makeup according to that. I know this isn't the wedding, this is just a bridal shower, but it'd be cute. <laughs> Who knows, maybe it's these colors. Um, okay, so now that I've done that, I want to sort of tone this down because it looks like super harsh and thick and I want it to look really nice and airy and fluffy. So, you know, I gotta blend this and I'm also, no, I don't want designer label. Blah, 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 blah. That is a shimmer shade. Step with the shimmer shades for you. Okay, going back into Lynn and I'm hoping that I can get some actual like powder because the, the pan is like a little wet right now, but um, I just go in over top of what I did with some dry powder version of this shade and I'm just blending it in. So if there was any like harsh marks like here, you can see it's, maybe you can see. It's probably not gonna focus. Right here there's like harsh lines where it was wet and didn't blend when I swooped it across. So I'm just getting rid of that. And now, I'm gonna take, hmm. I think I'm gonna 
take Poppy, which is a gold shade. Not Poppy, like P-O-P-P-Y. -P but Poppy, as in like daddy in Spanish. P-A-P-I, Poppy. And I'm gonna clean off this pencil brush first cause it's covered in blue. Look at my makeup whap. I need that color switch thing. I don't know how well it works with dark shades to light shades, but I at least want to try it out. Maybe it's better than this. Anyway, so that's all cleaned off and clear. I'm going to go into Bappy and put it underneath here. see because the other light I'm gonna bring it up to this wing as well because why not okay do we like that hmm well I don't know. It's not bad, but honestly, I kind of like it without. So I'm gonna take my Q-tip and I'm gonna just try and get rid of this. Now, it's going to be super faint on there, so, you know, my rule, what you do to one, you have to do the other, so. We'll just go through here, put this on. Ever so slightly. And just try to tone this side down. And I think what I'm going to do for underneath is... Maybe ripple effect. We'll try ripple effect down here. In the corners. I won't drag it up like I did with Poppy, but um, put it down here. Too much. Do I have a glitter that would look cute under there? I do. You know what? I'm going to use this one. Come here. This is my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Lid, Line, and Lash. And this is. Hmm. Aha, in 010 Green Glimmer. And it has this really pretty green sparkly stuff. I'm gonna put this underneath here. Woo, I like it. Wow. I haven't used this stuff in a while. It's really pretty. Might even put some uh hmm, here over Ocean Drive. Kind of drag it out. Like so. Pretty. You guys know I can't resist a glitter.
okay. Now I'm gonna have to clean this up a bit because it got a little messy. I'm like all over my lashes. It's gonna start spreading up there. That's fine, I don't mind. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my Bad Gal Bang. Um, actually, do I wanna do any liner? I don't think I need to do liner. So I'm gonna do my Bad Gal Bang mascara and then I'll do my Zero One Lashes from Kiss. Okay, and I'm gonna set this before I do my lashes. It feels a little damp. Um, I don't want anything to move around. So I'm gonna use my Rimmel London Stay Matte Fix and Go Setting Spray and my fan. Now you do have to be careful when you're doing your setting spray and you close your eyes because my mascara tends to get all wet and stick underneath my eyes. So there's that. Sometimes what's difficult about setting and fanning your eyes is that <laughs> I can't tell if they're still wet or you're just fanning so hard that now your eyes are watering. <laughs> silly, silly. Okay, so I'm gonna take this Q-tip and just spot clean. Cause I just set, set it, I'm gonna have to use a wet ended Q-tip. There we go. Not as bad as it has been before. Before it's gotten like real. What the heck? Apparently I really dug into that ocean drive. Oops. Okay, so lashes are next. These are my Kiss Zero One lashes. All right, now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this crazy hair. Hold on. I like did my hair already and just hairsprayed the poop out of it, but it still is refusing to actually be a style. Ugh. I don't know, whatever. Okay, so then we gotta do lips. So I have, again, my L'Oreal Color Juice lip gloss that is pretty much my go-to. I need to see if I can order some more. Because this is probably expired. And then I have my Betty Boop and Ipsy Gloss, which is slowly turning the color of this <laughs> color juice gloss. Um, this is in the shade Cherry on Top. And there we go. So that's it for the look of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me just uh, spray this one more time with the setting spray. Ooh. I really like how this Rimmel London, or sorry, Revlon Photo Ready um, glitter works. 
and how it made everything so pretty and sparkly. I think it re went really well with this um, hot spot palette. So I hope that you guys have a fantastic day and I hope that you always remember, no matter who you are or where you are, you are loved and you are enough. Bye.